Just had a very strange encounter with a man I think is actually involved with the very vampire hunters that were after me earlier. Like they're asking me to join them. Yeah? You change your mind? The Dawn Guard could use somebody like you. Yeah, so... I at first uh, was reluctant to talk about it, about pretending to join them, but if this guy's going to be so naive as to walk up to somebody that's the known vampire and just offer it to him, I'm just going to play along with it and say, okay. Ha! Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawnguard material. No, the thing is, I had wanted to take care of the vampire threat here. So, yeah. You know, I did some research. I still could not find what the deal is with this uh, split lip thing. Is I don't think it's in. It, it, they haven't said it's something that's connected to the Better Vampires mm. mod. But I can't think of what else it could be. So, if anyone has seen this phenomenon before, let me know in the comments. And the reason for me my training and doing this now is I sort of want to advance the storyline of the Dawn Guard and actually get into it, like now, rather than waiting, you know, 10, 20, 30 episodes. Because I think I, I'm more interested in just presenting the story and getting it done. And my original plan to perhaps tackle the other DLC, I'm not really quite sure about right now. Mainly because um, I'm putting a lot of time and effort into the editing of these videos. Some of it has to do with the sound quality because I'm getting a lot of bumps and stuff because of the microphone not being on a, a stand and I, I'm just debating with myself, can I justify spending a hundred dollars for the for the you know the attachment arm to have my microphone off. I, I, I want to eventually get it but it's just it's kind of, it's kind of hard to justify when hardly anyone's watching the show so what it boils down to is just, just not enough viewership and the, the concept and the idea of me starting this show was probably ill-conceived to begin with. Um, I just, I think I was watching too many shows again of, uh, of Skyrim myself and that gets me amped up to want to do this. I was testing on a lot of builds and thinking, you know, I really want to do another roleplay let's play. So I think what it boils down to is I just, I got amped up to do it and I probably should have gave it more thought. So we're going to tackle, since we have started it, we're going to finish it. At least tackle the Dongar DLC. And we're going to try and get a little bit up in level more. I did advance the story enough that I think that you'll actually see dragons at the Dragon Shrine. I didn't think it was really proper for him to walk up to a Dragon Shrine and not have a dragon there. Let's see here. I, don't, I, I honestly don't know what I'm going to do today. I, I... Where does that leave us for today? I have no freaking clue. Okay. I was just wondering if there's any rumors and stuff. If there's anything you need, work. just let me know. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Kill the dragon. Oh boy. Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just keep walking. I'm just trying to have a quiet drink here, alright? Ranmir beg a drink from you yet? That's gold wasted, friend. Oh, is that the drunk over there? What's wrong with him? He owes this tavern enough coin to burn it down, build it back up, then burn it down again just for laughs. He's had some troubles in his life, but I can't have him drinking here without at least paying back some of the coin he owes. Oh, that's logical. Yeah, why? Right, what if I talk to him? Go right ahead. He just might be sober enough to listen to you. I could just kill him, because, you know, what's one of his existence? He's just going to drink himself into oblivion. It's not like there's anything to do here but drink anyway. Yeah, you need to pay back your bar tab. Who are you to say what I should do? I I'll pay her back when I'm ready. Really? What of it? It's our inn, and they cause him no harm. Do it before things get ugly. Calm down there, friend. I'll pay. Tell Haran that she'll have her well, gold. Then he's welcome to eat and drink. All right, then. Yeah, see, he certainly isn't going to pay it off. Right? Let's don't to give a crap about this guy. He would just, he'll just assume kill him than anything else. Uh, that's an interesting NPC. I'm not going to deal with him right now. 
Well, we do have a dragon to deal with. I suppose we could do that today and then head back down south to uh, Windhelm. You know, the thing about dragons is fire and vampires don't mix very well. And I actually don't have <laughs> a full grasp of my uh, my spells, particularly that my, you know, the forgotten magic one. I did add a whole slew of new ice-related spells. But if this is a frost dragon, it isn't going to do us all heck a lot of good, is it? I don't even think she's got any kind of bows and arrows on her. Keep your hands yeah. to yourself. No, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I think I'm feeling these kind of sudden urge to drink, though. Hey, what the? Keep your damn magic. Self. Just killed. Okay, so he was the only one that saw us. Help us out beyond here. It's too powerful. Okay. There we go. I got a zombie. Oh. I like zombies. They're so cute. Alright, let's go. We're gonna take that dragon. Let's hope that you, st you last until uh, we get to the dragon. Well, maybe we'll hit that on the way out. Yeah, well, maybe we'll do that. Well, I see a wolf. There's an overabundance of wolves in this place. Uh, yeah, are we okay here? Of course, my zombie is constantly growling. But he does have a bow on him, so if, you know, we get into trouble, well, at least we'll be able to shoot at a range. I'm not able to. Well, we do have a couple of spells that can do that. Oh, hello. See, now that we are higher in level. Still an issue. Uh, let's do. Uh, where is that? You know, one thing I don't understand is some of this. Like, where's my vampiric drain? It's like gone. It was here. You know. No, it's gone. Why is that? Is it because it's daytime. It's gone. It's daytime. I do have that. Well, this is interesting. Okay, we're going to take a look at this. Huh. Where's the oblivion? Oh, hello. Zombie. It's quite nice of you. Alright, well, not much else up here. Um, where's Janessa? I don't see her anywhere. I kind of need Janessa here to take on the, the dragon. I don't I only see you. Janessa, what are you doing? Hello? Why are you injured? Why you got no health? Uh, she does not want to follow. And she's not getting, she's not getting her health back. Oh, and unfortunately her zombie just died. Alright, what are you doing? Alright, well, this is going to be, this is a problem. Um, apparently another glitch. This is exactly why I'm getting a little, a little more and more annoyed with, uh, 
with things. I, I don't know. I'm starting to think this better vampire mod might be glitched. I don't understand quite why uh, she's not healing and that she thinks she's in combat. I certainly don't think I'm going to be able to take out this dragon alone. I just got a very light amount of health back. What is going on with her? But see, you see her bar is slightly more than it was. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm having a difficult time with this. All right, change of plans. We're gonna go see the, the shrine of Azora. Do wonderful. No, oh, hey, what's up? Shrines are interesting. Uh, who are you? Azura has seen your coming, traveler. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Really? Seen my coming? What does that mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I had a vision of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Oh, well, that's nice. Um, so what does she want? You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It is cryptic, I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. We're just in Winterhold. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we won't worry about that May Azura's magic right now. protect you. Oh, and you decide to unglitch. That's lovely, honey. She becomes a follower later. I probably could actually, you know... Uh, get a meal off here. Huh? Yeah, well, like I said, it worked out too well. I'll let you live. Let me live. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, no harm shall come to me, for I live under Azura's wisdom. Her foresight protects me. Her insight. Okay. Well, apparently this vampire abduction didn't work too much on her. Uh, yeah. So now can we go do the dragon thing? I mean, I mean, are you all right here, honey? Thank you. I did buy a travel lantern. Did I mention that? No, I'm mentioning it now. Well, there he is, Mr. Dragon. So we're going to have to take out this frost dragon with probably just frost related spells since I don't really have much in the way of other spells. This ice ship thing is like freaking... You hit. Oh, you can't even reach him with that? Oh. Dragon and I'm on magic already. Unfortunately, I got the music on way too loud. Alright, we gotta find something else here. We're gonna be in trouble. Unfortunately, ice spells are not doing a lot, a lot of good. You know, you would think that the ice spells would do physical damage. So let me also let me lower this. I'm the effects are just not so loud. And the music's a little loud, I know I might up it. I don't think this is gonna be much more help. Because of being a vampire and all, I'm probably like 
partially immune to his his breath weapon. Hi. I'm not a dragonborn. Alright, we're doing a little damage to him. This is going to take a long time to take this guy down. If you know Elder Scrolls Online, I... There was no... Dragons in it. It's possible they may have added it. I don't know, it may be added in a later expansion, but... Wow, yeah, it's... This is going to take a long time. I really need to get a follower that's got a bow. Yeah, and I'm not completely immune to this myself. You know, Janessa, this is a golden opportunity for you to hit him a little bit. Um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I have enough magic for one whole hit. And she's just about dead. That's lovely. This is lovely. No. I don't like that. No. Please don't bite me. Oh, lovely. I have to say this was ill-conceived. We were doing better damage with this. It was better for our magic, I should say. We're doing more damage per magic we used. We're going to end up using up most of our blood potions here. We also got to take a look at... Are we under any other active effects other than just being... Just that? No. Come on, dear. Get up. And crash the desktop. Yeah. I'm reaching the point where I'm freaking done with this let's play. <sighs> Alright, so we gotta start over. Clickety click click. Click click. Oh yeah, we're done. Alright, we're in the middle of a fight with the dragon here. Okay, so we're gonna end the episode. That's probably. Alright, we got no damage to him, so we're done. My job is to serve the Yaw. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Your mm -hmm. skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of sunlight or something? Don't get too far ahead. Looks to be another cold day. Aren't they all? Not like this. Feels colder than usual. Bet it's those damn mages. I'm sure you're right. That wizard is still at the inn. I can't believe Dagger allows him to stay there. This is what it's come to. No one seems to care what they've done to our home. It's clear that memories are far too short. And it's clear money matters more to Dagger than honor. And so in the fullness of time, Rylus Carr decided to sit around 
and do nothing and not join the Gong Guard after all. And he got really, really freaking tired of all the inane banter in Skyrim. And then he just sort of sat in the fire and died. The end. Thanks for watching Skyrim. Have a good day. You can unsubscribe from my channel now. Yes, because there will be no more Skyrim roleplay let's plays or any other Elder Scrolls roleplay let's plays or let's plays. I'm gonna go back to just doing guides. This is freaking stupid because I, everything's working against me. Crashes and other logistical problems. My audio, I'm done. I, I can't stand this anymore. This series will be unlisted. But I, I, uh, I wanted to upload it just so people can freaking see it and know that I'm, I'm ending the series. So, Riley's car died. They're at the end. Alright? There you go. Thank you.